Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sessa here with a video here today. We're bringing us a brand new video on how to choose your own portfolio. So, I get this question asked a lot. It's always like, yo Sesso, what's like the best free site to use uh, for my website or my portfolio, all that good stuff. Like, I got you. So this is what I did in this today's video. I broke it down between my favorite sites or a few favorite sites and uh, just basically broke kind of like the idea behind the sites down, how to actually thrive in them as well. And then just overall some really cool simple examples for logo designing and uh, social media. And with that, guys, I think the best site you can ever use is the one you create yourself, to be fair with you. Um, I recently was at Wix, and I kind of switched to Squarespace. I'm going to try them out. And, uh, I mean, both of them treated me fairly well. I just want to, like, just try them both of them out and kind of see which one is the, like, supreme one. But I do think if you guys want, like, a really cool set of, like, you know, you can do way more than these uh, portfolio sites can, can give you when in the sense of, like, selling things online, blogs, all that kind of stuff. Um, just so you guys know, I think the best site, kind of site you can do is your own site. However, some people don't have the time and resources for that, and that's fine. I'm going to give you guys these really awesome sites to go ahead and choose from. And I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. As always, guys, uh, just enjoy. That's all. Just bye. Oh, wait. Oh, dude. almost forgot. It's a birthday. Yo, let's go. I'm 20. Four. Wait, we read left to right. There, 24. Ha, let's go. Okay, go watch. Enjoy. All right, homie. So when choosing your portfolio site, you should consider which style of portfolio you would like to use. It can be based on showing progression, whether if it's full project based to a specific design, such as showing a sketch to a logo concept and describing why you actually designed it like this in the first place. Then following that, the logo fully vectored with a super awesome thought out color scheme, maybe even providing the hex codes in the project itself to then finalize the project with mockups for real life use cases. Portfolios like this showcase the design's actions and thought process to a certain concept. A lot of the times during receiving feedback, designers end up getting reasonings as to why this should look like this or this actually probably would look better if you did this, stems from not showing progression and addressing why you did something beforehand and then that way the concept itself that you showcase sits better with the people that are viewing it the first time. One of the best free sites to use when really into presentations is known as Behance. Behance is a super popular site among professional designers for many reasons. It offers a chance for designers to explore other artists work and act as like a one stop all for designers to also gain inspiration. I believe it's every day or every week, I'm not entirely sure, but Behance has a feature that also highlights certain projects that give incredible presentations and by default drives way more eyes towards the actual project. Such as when you guys go to certain Behance profiles, they have honorary badges that show where the actual project was showcased. Whether if it was graphic design specific, motion specific, or even illustration, it doesn't really matter, Behance covers them all. You can even explore other people's projects that were featured as well to learn what people on Behance like in presentations, and also just take inspiration from them. It's honestly a great community to be a part of, as of course it just includes everybody. And if it's not your daily site exploration, you might be missing out on quite a lot, just saying. Alright guys, now that I gave you guys a cool example of how to make a cool presentation for logo design, I thought giving an example for branding projects would be a good idea for Behance as well. When noticing the trends of doing single piece or header designs that have little to no return and putting them on the actual site, whether if that's actually not getting any clients or just no one really appreciating your project, I think it might be beneficial to you to actually focus on branding projects and not just single project pieces. That way, for the viewer, it could be way more engaging. For example, doing a design for an esports player or a person. You might focus on a single player, but what is stopping you from putting more effort into what people will see and focus on the entire organization's branding? or individual. Some other designers might find the excessive single piece designs as simple minded designing. And to build a stronger portfolio, you showcasing more and solving a problem that other people might not really notice will give the viewer and yourself by default way more credit. So by the end of it all, whatever direction you end up heading for Behance, whether it's logo designing, branding projects, or even advertisements, mockups, any critical thinking information as to why you did something, or even aesthetic zoom ins on parts that you probably put more detail into, all these keynotes can actually help in building a really strong Behance or even other portfolio site. However, in this case, these notes for Behance do very, very well. And in turn, can really help your brand grow via Behance because you're now speaking their actual language. All right, guys, now let's just say you don't want to do presentations and it's just simply not your style. And that's honestly okay. Even though all my previous points still stand, some artists just like to post for interpretation and immediate acknowledgement. So this style of portfolio and free site that you can consider in the fact that your art just wants to be presented with single posts, the site is honestly underrated and it's portfolio.adobe.com. And honestly, for me, I've only realized this was a thing maybe about a year ago. I don't know how new it is, but it's a freaking dope site. Reasons being Adobe Portfolio has options to make a website out of your actual Adobe portfolio, meaning the contact page, the about me section, selling things, etc. Previously, I would recommend at this point Portfolio Box for free single post projects. However, Portfolio Box is no longer free actually. With that though, Adobe Portfolios is, and it's super easy to create an account. 
And if you wanted to make one, you can already use your Creative Cloud account that you have for Photoshop and or whatever Adobe program. But just so you guys know, you do not have to have the Creative Cloud purchased in order to use the Portfolio.Adobe site. The quickest and easiest way to have one of these sites made up for you guys is of course sign up and or log in. When you guys end up logging in, you guys want to end up choosing the option, choosing collection of work. Then you guys will be prompted to actually select a cool template for you guys to use and no worries, you can actually just update it at any single point, but it's just something to kind of like a starting basis. Then when you guys are good and you select the option that you would like to use for your template, just use the option, use this theme in the top right to start. And just so you guys know, if you already have your Behance account previously synced to an Adobe Creative Cloud account that you guys might have used to actually log in for first times, you might actually see for your Adobe portfolio site that it takes the projects from your Behance and makes them appear on your current site. But it's nothing to get worried about. You can always just delete under the pages options on the left hand side and kind of start from scratch if you guys want to. And no, it does not delete it from Behance. I checked. When you guys go to add a page for your single design pieces, you simply just click on the blue plus button on the top left of the page and choose create custom page. Then you want to set a title for what this work is, whether it's photography, headers, advertising, whatever it is. You can also make this your home page if you would like. Then you are prompted to choose from a number of actions that you can actually do to your site, but we want to choose the option photo grid. Then you want to upload your assets to the site. And of course, remembering only putting designs that you think are the best of the best of your collection. Then to add more photos, you just want to hover over the actual photo grid and choose the little pen button. Then on the top right of that box, you just want to simply click on add photos. And by the end of it all, you can have a super simple presentation that you can either choose to preview or even publish your site right on the bottom left. And just so you guys know, if you are not cool with the domain name, that is the starting name that it is. So mine is like sesohq.myportfolio.com. If you guys want to change that, all you have to do is go back to the main menu on your edit site and go ahead and choose a settings option and you can just change it right there. And then you guys got yourselves a banging portfolio site and yeah, it's just, it's honestly that simple. All right, guys, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today. Um, yeah, just so you guys know, I said in the beginning of the video, which is, I would say the best that you can ever use is the one that you create yourself because you can do way more than these sites can possibly offer you. Um, but I know, you know, some people don't have the money for the domain to buy it, to register it and keep it. And that's perfectly fine. I think these sites themselves are going to help you guys out tremendously if you guys don't know how to do it. And I hope the tips that also help in the video, um, just, or excuse me, I hope the tips also helped you in the video. But if you guys have any other kind of tips you want to put in the comments below for people to actually look over because I know people are going to look through the comments, do ahead and do so. But maybe if you want me to do another video on like how to improve your portfolio, you guys can let me know if you want that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys just enjoy your freaking night, your day, your evening, whatever, whenever you guys are watching this. And hopefully help you out a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's just all I got to say is love you guys. Hope you guys later such for HQ out. Now we're going to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. Peace.